I'm Shannon Burns and welcome to The Filter where we go over all of the top stories in the world of music, so let's get started. Another day, another event canceled because of coronavirus. And this one hits a little close to home because we just announced in the last video that the iHeartRadio secret session with Niall Horan was going to take place in Toronto coming up next week, but we've been forced to postpone it. We made a statement saying, after careful consideration due to COVID-19, we have decided to postpone the iHeartRadio secret session with Niall Horan. The health and safety of our listeners, staff, and talent is always our top priority. More details will be released at a later date. Niall Horan apologized on his Instagram story for having to miss a bunch of events, including the iHeartRadio secret session that were all in promotion of his album that's coming out tomorrow, Heartbreak Weather. It's also been announced that the iHeartRadio album release party that is taking place tonight has been canceled. We'll have details from that statement in the description down below. He does still have a show scheduled for Toronto coming up on May 6th with Louis Capaldi and no word yet on if the coronavirus is going to affect that show. But it better not because we're already missing out on Niall Horan once and now it's affecting Tom Hanks, so now it's just, it's getting personal. Billie Eilish is taking back control from body shamers. Billie, as we know, she has an angelic voice, she's known for her style, and she's known for wearing really baggy outfits. And she's explained in the past that the reason that she does this is in order to hide her body from people online so that they don't criticize her. Her mentality is that if she covers up her body and they can't see it, then they won't be able to say negative things about it. So Billie just kicked off a brand new tour, and she has a new tour video that she plays during the show where it shows her taking off her oversized shirt. There's a voiceover in the background that says things like, some people hate what I wear, some people praise it. Some people use it to shame others. Some people use it to shame me. This is her way of owning the comments that people make to her. I can't even imagine being in the position of Billie Eilish, somebody who's so much in the public eye, who receives so much criticism from people every single day. If I get one bad hate comment, that just ruins my entire week, so I can't even imagine being in a position like Billie Eilish. And considering the fact that she's so young as well, she's only 18 years old. But are we sure that she's even a teenager? Because honestly, she seems more mature than most adults that I know. Actress Nina Dobrev revealed to E! News that Taylor Swift was almost in an episode of The Vampire Diaries. It turns out that when they were shooting that show, Taylor Swift was a big fan, so the producers decided to write her into the show as her very own character. But because Taylor Swift is the busiest woman on the planet, it didn't end up working out because of scheduling conflicts. But Taylor Swift is known for acting in the past. She's been in the movie Valentine's Day and most recently in the dumpster fire that was the movie Cats. So it would be cool to see Taylor Swift get into acting more in the future, but maybe just not like Cats 2. Let's just forget that movie even happened. It is Thursday, so we gotta celebrate with a little throwback Thursday. And this week is actually very significant because 14 years ago during this week, the masterpiece that is the High School Musical soundtrack hit number one on the Billboard Top 200. The movie that told us that we're all in this together and to keep our head in the game is officially 14 years old, which is insane. It seems like just yesterday I was hanging up my Vanessa Hudgens poster in my room, which was the beginning of a very long and confusing sexual awakening. Anyways, let us know your thoughts by liking and commenting on this video. Don't forget to subscribe and we'll see you on Monday for a new episode of The Filter. You can catch up with all of the latest music news up at our website at iHeartRadio.ca. See ya.